Hello you beautiful people. I have missed you all so so much. I hope you're all doing amazingly. I really felt the urge to come and jump on here and film this really quick to the point video for you guys but I'm really hopeful that this is going to be effective and helpful for at least one of you guys. So this topic has been on my mind for a little while especially the last two to three weeks because I have made a decision to get back into sort of a more positive place a place that I once was before adulting and things like that started to really just knock me here and there and make me feel really responsible and serious and now actually I just feel like reverting back to the jade that I was and I, I kind of would mark this at a period of time just before I bought my home because obviously when I bought my home I became a fully fledged adult with fully fledged responsibilities and a life to <laughs> up hold um but i was very carefree i was very positive i was literally called by so many of my friends the unicorn because some of my friends would be like you're just so positive you're like a unicorn um and i want to be the unicorn again anyway i want to talk to you guys about how i attracted my flat my apartment my property and i'm aware that this video may attract some new people and many new people when they see my videos will ask do I own my home or am I renting it? I do own my home. For you guys that have been following me, you guys already know this. Hello if you are new and welcome back if you're not new. The reason I want to do this now is because I feel like having come out of that place of like just being so spiritually free and being so positive and feeling like I can do anything in the world, I feel like I'm so slowly but surely getting back into that place and with that it's made me think about how I once was and how I used to just attract so many little things they could be small they could be huge and one of the biggest things I've attracted today is this house that I live in my home my flat um, more recently I attracted my car but maybe we'll do that in another video about two and a half to three years ago when I filmed the infamous video about how I bought a home and how you can too and that video the topic me on Twitter it kind of went a bit viral would you guys find it odd if I told you that I attracted that like I knew that was going to happen I knew that I was going to sit in this exact corner, um, which looks very different right now, and film my first video in my home sharing what I had been doing for the last year because nobody knew what I was up to, even people that were my friends and family had no idea until I posted that video which was about the journey, the infamous journey of ups and downs, crying, laughter, choosing the wrong properties and all of that and walking in here looking like really bad i'll link all the videos down below and knowing that this was the one that i felt god had placed and held onto for me we often talk a lot about the practicalities of things and the money side of buying a property and um how much you earn and how much deposit you need and looking at houses but what about the mindset side of finding your property because guys you can walk into a home that is perfect but if you don't see the potential of it or you don't see it and your minds are in that place that space that positive vibe isn't around you you will walk in and not see anything amazing about it and walk out and miss that opportunity so how i attracted this <laughs> so many different ways so many of you will know i was staying with a family member at the time and i could not wait to get into my own space so i was going to church every single sunday um i was going to jubilee church because it was literally a walk away from where i lived and i literally was like it was kind of like a new week a new day to really pray and really imagine what my life would be like when i bought my flat and I knew that I'd be moving further away from this church, but I always said to myself that I am gonna keep going because I'm gonna be driving to this church. And fast forward two, three years, I am driving to this church now. Hallelujah. But I knew that I would still have a life and still find myself in this place. And I would remember the days that I was walking to the church, whereas now I'm gonna be driving to the church. I don't know if I'm making sense, but I would just imagine situations that I found myself in right now, 
but how would it be if I lived in my own flat? How would my flat look like? <laughs> um, so I knew I was gonna just paint all the walls white and then maybe later down the line do different things to the walls, but I just always wanted a fresh, fresh space and I think I kind of conquered that. <laughs> um, and so I would be on house, Pinterest and Instagram, but Instagram a bit later on, more so when I actually did find a place. And I would save, 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 save images, pictures, look at trends, look at interiors, and just get really familiar with what I did like, what I didn't like, color schemes, layouts, sofas, do I want a corner sofa, all of these things. And guys, I hadn't even found a home yet. I knew that I wanted to look for this stuff so I could start buying the stuff. I started buying the stuff before I even found a property. And yes, I was storing stuff in my mum's garage. So I was preparing myself and I feel like that is how you can attract something into your life. And it doesn't have to be a property, it can be a car. What would life be like if you're driving? Are you gonna be going to the gym? Maybe start signing up for the gym now so you're prepared. With scripting, the more detailed, the better, and have fun with it. Just let your imagination just run wild. Don't feel like, oh my God, this is so stupid. But really get into it because you're gonna feel so good, so happy, and most of all, your goal is going to feel a lot more attainable. So when you're out there trying to actually get the goal, working towards it, you're not gonna really have as much doubt because you've seen it happen. So it's possible to happen, right? Uh, so that is another way of how I attracted my flat. Another thing that I tell people, and I'm telling my friend right now who is looking for a home, is to go and start viewing ASAP. You may not have enough money just yet. You might not be at your goal just yet. You may not feel ready just yet. But guys, I cannot stress enough how valuable it was for me to go on these viewings so early on, um, before I had enough money, or even before I knew exactly what I wanted. There's nothing better than getting out there and looking at these places, because that is how you're going to be able to compare places, that's how you're going to learn what you actually really like. Right Move is amazing, as you guys know I love Right Move. However, you cannot always just look at Right Move and just make your decision. You need to get out there. And by the way, guys, I have actually been featured on Right Move's blog, so I'm going to leave a link down below for you guys in case you miss that. Anyway, you need to get out there. Some people often ask me like, won't you say agents ask me how much money I have and all of this stuff. Some of them might ask, what kind of percentage are you planning to put down or are you a first time buyer? Very basic stuff and you don't have to give them detail if you don't want to. All you're trying to do is look at the property and see what works for you and what doesn't. And guys, I was looking at properties at the beginning that were one bedroom, tiny, teeny, weeny flats, and I thought they were amazing. But as time went on, as I kept getting knocked and knocked and knocked, I then ended up getting into the realm of, oh, maybe I can actually afford a two bedroom flat in this budget. Had I have not looked at loads of places, I would not have really got what I have now. I would have settled for something, get looking and comparing and realizing what is actually important to you. Do you actually want an open plan kitchen or would you rather it being shut off like mine is? Because it's an older building as well, I have an older flat. I love that for me right now. I think in a house, however, I would love an open kitchen with an island, open to an extent but not all the way open. So you need to go out there and walk around these flats and see what is actually good for you. And the reason why I say this is how I attracted it is because I started envisioning what I would put where. I also started thinking about, okay, walking through each room, how does it flow for me? How does it feel? The best thing that I ever did at these viewings was video. I am the queen of videoing homes, which is why I now share these videos with you guys on my channel. I loved it so, so much, and when I was on my hunt for this flat, that's all I would do, because then I could go home and really compare and look at the detail properly. Because when you're walking through a flat for a viewing, you are so excited oftentimes, you have the estate agent chatting around, and you're just like, oh my God, like, and sometimes it can just go like that, and you're out. 
and then you forget so many things. So these videos I used to use to really critique, really look at the nitty gritty, the sizing, what is the lighting like, what is that room, do I even like that room being off that hallway or that side or do I want the toilet right next to the kitchen, you know? But some of this stuff you will not realise when you're actually there. So video and pictures are key at Absolutely key. I cannot stress that enough to you guys. If there is a property that you really love, go and see it as many times as possible. When I came to see this one with my dad, I was gobsmacked as you guys may know. I then came back again and then I brought my mum and then I came back again. With my Move With Jade series, that is what I'm trying to create for you guys. A kind of virtual way of showing you what you can do in a home before you even go there. I wish I had somebody that I could look at and watch when I was looking who would show me and I'd be like, yeah, that is the kind of home I want. Or actually, no, it's not. You just never know until you actually see it and hear someone else discuss it, which is why I do often say, take your mum, take your dad, take your dog, take whoever, because their opinions do matter. At the end of the day, though, it is your choice but opinions are very very helpful for such a big thing that you're trying to attract you want to get the best thing right i am looking at houses i'm not going to buy the house tomorrow but i am essentially doing what i've just told you guys about i'm going to these houses to view them to attract my next house and I know the amount of bedrooms I want, I know everything that I want, I've envisioned it and so I go to these homes and I'm kind of dead set that I want a nice old Victorian or Edwardian house, fingers crossed, um, they are very pricey but I would love a house like that because I love that traditional layout and I love when you do the extensions on the back of the kitchen and when you do the loft conversions. My aunt and my uncle's house is literally my dream and they've done that to their house. Um, so me going on these viewings now, quite early on, to be honest with you, is what I'm doing to attract that. And then of course I love doing the Move of Jade series because I can look around houses and I can help you guys attract your own homes at the same time. Even if you are not in a position yet to actually purchase your home, I'm hoping that my series is helping you to visualise, helping you to attract, helping you to see what's out there and envision yourself walking through those homes just as I am walking through those homes. That is my aim, to make it as really realistic for your experience as possible. That was very wordy. <sighs> So I don't know if I've covered everything, but I wanted to just share with you guys the main key things that I'd say I did in order to attract my home. Some of those things I didn't even do intentionally to attract, I was just doing it because that is what kept me going, that's what kept me positive. And in essence, that is what helps me to attract it because like attracts like, right? If you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can do many things. You can move mountains, you can buy a property, you can become qualified for something, you can get a pay rise before you're even meant to get a pay rise which is what happened to me a month before i found this property i was offered a pay rise guys that i did not even ask for and it was a huge jump so i attracted that because i knew whatever happens i'm buying this home and so god made a way for it to happen for me all of the necessary tools came in and made it work. I hope this video has been really helpful for somebody out there, whether it be a car, a boyfriend, a dog, I even attracted my dog. And maybe we can do a video on all the things I've attracted in my life. I would really love and appreciate for you guys to leave a comment down below and let me know what you would like for me to discuss and also if you like this video and anything that you're gonna take from this video and practice for yourself. And if you want to hear me talk a bit more about this topic, I'm actually going to be on my friend's podcast. I will leave the link down below, it's on Black Girls Living. And I do delve into this topic a little bit. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will love you and leave you. And also follow me on Instagram. Bye.